I'm going to go over some products today that I think are worth buying. Um, first of all, one thing that's good to do is take a regular vitamin. Um, I was taking fish oil and vitamin E and a geishi and I found this. Um, this is Rejuvicare and I didn't notice it until after I got home but it says Kardashian recommended. It's a pro-collagen vitamin D um, supplement that you can take and it's supposed to be good for uh, restoring loss moisture, it helps fight environmental aging, helps protect from oxidized cell damage, and helps rebuild collagen and elastin, which is you know what causes the wrinkles when you start losing that collagen. Um, so I'm going to try this out. It's a month's supply and it's about $14. I got, as, got it at CVS, so uh, I'll do a review in about two weeks and give you an update on, on what I think it's doing for me. Um, another thing I wanted to share was steps to get flawless skin. Of course, you want to start with a very fresh, clean face, washing, doing your mask and serums. And um, one good product that I found from Sephora, and it was these um, cargo Blu-ray cloths. There's 20 in here, and they're actually reusable. Um, use it with whatever face wash that you prefer, and it polishes your skin like a, like a mini micro, microdermabrasion peel. Um, you'll immediately notice that your pores are smaller and your face just is a little little brighter. Um, then when you're done washing your face and doing your um, your cleansing steps, start off with a good primer. Um, you know, not everything works for the same person. Everybody's skin is different. Um, these are just a couple that I found. Um, this is from 24-7 Skincare and it's an anti-aging skincare primer. This is really nice. Um, it's very lightweight. This is Virtual Illusion Makeup Primer from Arbonne. And another good one that is worth the money and you get quite a bit of product is the um, CoverGirl Simply Ages uh, Primer. That, that's a good one too. When you have when you have a primer on, it's going to make your makeup. It's going to make your makeup last, and you're going to get the most out of it. It's also giving your your. It's turning your skin into just a blank canvas for the makeup and the application process. Um, another good find are these uh, concealer palettes. And it's got the, the green and pink and yellow for camouflaging. Green is good to tone down uh, redness. The pink color is good for brightening. And yellow is good for uh, dark circles. So this is just good. It comes in medium, light, and then real dark. And I got the, the light and the medium. So I've got, I can blend it to whatever shade that I need. So these are really good. These are uh, by Hard Candy, and I think they're like uh, four or five bucks a piece. So, and there's a lot of product in here. I do like the L'Oreal uh, Studio Secrets. It also comes with the um, Magic Perfecting Base. I do like this because it's got good coverage, and it really does minimize any lines and um, enlarged pores, but it is it is kind of heavy and it's very messy to get out of. It's not in a pump, so you have to either have a spatula or dig it out with something. Um, I do like it. it. I just I wish it came in a different dispenser. Um, the way this is packaged just isn't very um, productive for me. So the, the anti-redness uh, primer here, this is green. You only need one little dab if you've got a lot of pink undertones in your skin. Um, you can either use this separate on your face or mix it into your moisturizer or foundation. And it, it's going to take away any redness or at least dull it out some. If you do have dull skin, um, they have this anti-dull skin primer. I've got the, I got it in the light skin. They, they've also got it in medium. And this is great to just wake your face up and give it some extra color and help oomph your foundations and concealers. Uh, to found, the foundation that I have, that I've turned to, are these Revlon Photo Ready. They're so similar to uh, Make It Forever, the high definition. They're like 40 bucks a piece. And I think these are $12. I've got them in two different colors. 
of course one for my all over color and then the darker color for contouring cheekbones the temples the sides of the nose and then the photo ready powder it's just a translucent finisher that goes all over your entire face when you're done this was also a good find um, i've got one from dior that again was almost forty dollars and i think this was eleven i i like this one better uh let's see this is a, a product from dior i do like this now uh, this is the skin flash primer and it's just a translucent highlighter and this is good for like down the the center of the nose uh, on your brow bones and it instantly just highlights and brightens anywhere you put it it comes with a with the uh, brush which is nice which you do want to clean with the olive oil with the olive oil trick I know I need to miss a sea salt scrub and I think I paid about $38 for it and then I, um, just by accident, I was researching home remedies for um, scrubs and exfoliants. And the same exact ingredients are these two products. And this is about, about a quarter cup, of, quarter cup to half a cup of sugar. All you got to do is mix equal parts of sugar or kosher salt, some olive oil, and the olive oil isn't going to dissolve the sugar so it's good, or the salt, so the, um, the sugar, the salt is still gonna stay granulated. Mix it up and put it in one of these uh, Tupperware or Ziploc containers and this will last until you're done with it. It won't, it doesn't go bad. It's going to separate, but so does the $40 jar versus the uh, maybe 50 cents and does the same thing. This is wonderful for your feet, your knees. I like to do it um, before I shave my legs and it just makes your skin just baby butt smooth. Age spots or dark spots on your skin. I've never seen anything work like this, like this. I have a little patch that was right here of sunspots and I use this for about two weeks straight, about 14 days straight, only at night and they are completely gone. I, I used to have used to have use concealer and foundation and powder to cover them up but I don't have to do that anymore thanks to that product. Um, Another product that I am in love with is the Clean and Clear Blackhead Eraser. This is wonderful for, for those of you that do have blackheads, which is most of you. Um, it's hard not to have them. And this thing here, uh, it's a skin cleanser. You put your cleanser on here, rub it across your face, and it's, it also comes with a polisher attachment. Okay, so it comes with the polisher, and you just snap that on and polish your skin. Oh my gosh, you'll automatically see uh, shine and brightness coming from your skin. And it's also got this massager, and you can, after you're done with, your, with washing your face and you're in bed and ready to go to sleep, take this in the bed with you and just massage your face with it. Really important to get under your eyes. Just do a whole facial massage. It feels wonderful. Alright, so um, that's about it. Oh, one last tip. Uh, conditioner that is doesn't work in your hair, don't throw it away. Whether it's a deep, deep conditioning treatment, whatever you have that you don't use, don't throw it away. Use it for um, shaving cream and you'll be amazed at how it conditions your legs because it conditions your hair. It's going to condition the skin on your legs and it's also being a little more economical and not wasting throwing money down the drain. So hope you like those tips. I'm going to put all my stuff away and I'll see you in the next video. The next one's probably going to be on this here, Rejuvacare, and give you a little update on what I think. Um, give you a little update on what my, my thoughts are on this product. Have a good night and I'll see you in the next video.